Welcome to part 8 of how to make a desktop orrery. Next up is making the sun. I've taken my acrylic hemispheres that I'm going to be used for the sun and taped over them to protect them. Both the top and the bottom piece need to be drilled out. So I have the hole drilled in there. I'm going to take the tape off just to see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna we're gonna drill the other one out now. Well, there's the sun. I still have to bore out the insides for the bulbs. I have to make a little support here yet because I don't want that sliding all the way down onto the, the Venus tube. Looking pretty good. the sun mounted. I made a little brass piece to hold the sun up. Well the sun pieces are, are now drilled for mounting but now what I want to do is, is use a uh, 3 8 inch drill bit to drill a, a little gap in there so that I can insert my mag light xenon light bulbs. So my plan here is to, to block this between these two pieces of wood to keep from damaging it. Alright, so our part is filled out. So now the bottom half has to be done the same way. What I'm doing now is I'm taking wet dry paper and I'm kind of polishing the inside surface. So I just sand it up a little bit so that it, it doesn't look quite so white. But still, um, it's cloudy enough that you won't see the actual wiring. I did end up en enlarging these holes in the sun to a half inch diameter. I'm going to use some of this epoxy rod to make the uh, holder for the right there. Okay, that's the machined piece of epoxy. I'm going to bore a hole through here so that it can slide over the, the rest of the unit and uh, cut it off and then I'm going to start drilling some holes to support the light bulbs. So this is going to be used to hold the, the light bulbs in place. They're going to be spaced around here. piece ultimately goes down in here. This is the light bulb holder I fabricated for the orrery. It's made from a little piece of epoxy that I drilled out with six holes, each one the width of a light bulb, so I could plug three light bulbs in there, and the holes were drilled big enough so I could stick wires in there, and then I made a a brass fitting for the center that's got a little wire soldered on it that goes into one of the holes so that wires all of the lights in series and then you can see that little red wire coming sticking up that little pigtail wire that's for the positive i have one major design flaw in the way i did this originally i thought if this sun tube um, just came up inside the sun somewhere it would be fine so for the most part it is when I set the sun on there, it stays pretty well. But a couple of things I want to change. It's hard to see, but where that wire comes up in there, I'd like to increase the size of that hole. I'm going to take this whole thing apart and cut a longer rod so that it'll actually stick out the top of the sun. Right now, I don't have a hole in the bottom where these tubes run to the bottom. I cut that all the way through. It gives me access to that tube. So if I need to replace the wire, I can do that without having to take the whole thing apart. The whole piece needs to be taken apart at this point.
So I've taken the sun tube out. I'm going to desolder that and resolder a new one in that's three quarter inch longer. I'm going to cut the hole in the side a little bit bigger on this on the second one. And I'm going to drill this all the way through. I've cut this to uh, the right length. You can see it's about three quarter inch longer. Now I've got to mark my hole. And I'm going to grind that in. So my wire access hole is going to be right there. So the slot's cut, now I just got to solder in. Alright, we're on. I think I got that pretty square. I do have to, a little bit of solder to clean up down there. I just want to make sure that this fits in here. I'm going to uh, clean the solder out of here and that's going to take a little bit of uh, sand in there. It runs pretty good on there. And there, we have our our new one. Next up, I'm going to do drill that hole. So what this hole will allow me to do is, is thread the wire up from the bottom. This is ready to reassemble. We're back together. I think you will see that it's going to be a little bit nicer than what we had before. I like that a lot better. You see now we have a, a little quarter inch piece that kind of sticks up. Now that that's done, let's get back to wiring the bulb socket into the sun. This is the light bulb holder I fabricated. What I want to do right now is I'm going to shorten this little little wire up. So here's my here's my little scheme. I took one of the bulbs out, um, and then I have one of these pin connectors. I'm going to uh, insert that into the hole where I plug that in. I'm going to put a piece, a little piece of heat shrink over the top of that. So this is just going to stick straight up. So you can see the positive terminal has that heat shrink. That's actually a little plug that will plug the positive line in. The negative goes to that brass tube in the center, and that slides down over the, the negatively charged case sunrod or tube. And that's where we get our negative from. So let's see how this fits in there. That works pretty good. I'm going to pull this wire back through the bottom. And then hook it back out through that hole. All right, I'm just going to pull enough in here to loop back around into the positive terminal. I can also pull that wire back through the bottom a little bit. And there, you can see the wiring is completed. Now I'm going to make a little brass finial that will fit on top of the sun to keep that uh, acrylic hemisphere on the top of the sun from falling out. There. The piece is cut off. Now to drill a hole in the bottom. See how that fits. Here's a finial on top. I'm going to drill the side of the finial to take the number 440 set screw. Let's 
So we have our tapped hole there. Fails in place. The sun is done. We have our finial on the top. The electrical is done. At this point, we're ready to start working on the, on the planets. Turn it on, and the sun shines. There's the sun in the dark. And we can turn off the sun just like that. And for this video, that's a wrap. Check out my other videos on YouTube and my other projects on jeffreysodeman.com. Thank you very much for viewing.